Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create boundary blend. But first, I'd like to show you that in the previous tutorial I have made some small mistake because I didn't specify the correct dimension here. I have set 90 degree, but in reality we would like to use the tangent dimension or logic. We have to follow 87 degrees, so over here has to be 93. So please repair your sketch if you follow my tutorials. We will start with the boundary blend. If you would like to use the boundary blend, the system asks you to select entities in the first direction. You can use the curve in the first direction by selection, step by step, first, second and third, and then you can continue. You can see that system smoothly connect the surface. But over here, on the left hand side, it's not connected like we need. So, in the collector here, you can see that right now we have specified first direction. If I click the second direction, so you can select here or directly here, we would like to select the curve from the sketch, but not whole sketch, but only the partial of the curve. So please select right mouse button and left for selection and then again opposite with the control button and use the right mouse button and left. The system will select only the line from the sketch, not whole sketch. Like we have defined the definition of the connection of the curve is possible to define the same constraint condition for the surface. So for example here we would like to go to normal and on the opposite side we would like to go on normal too. Everything is defined, we can confirm OK. The first boundary blend surface is definite. We will continue here, so we will create another boundary blend and we will select the first curve and again we would like to use only first partial curve, so select right mouse button and confirm left mouse. What is possible to see here, that system will create something like straight connection. But again, you can specify, for example, that you would like to tangently continue. So select the tangent and system sometimes do not understand where is necessary to select and continue for the constraint. Yeah? So you can see here the surface is not definite. So you can help the system and select that you would like to continue the surface. And again here, if you will select the normal connection, the system recognizes horizontal planes, so everything is fine. You can from from OK. Same logic, on opposite direction. We will create boundary blend, we will select the curve, we will move mouse, right mouse button with control left, and again define tangent with this surface and normal is defined automatically. Perfect. Everything is created correctly. And we would like to reuse the another curves, what is here. So we would like to make some projection. But right now we have created three separate surfaces. There's three separate surfaces. You can select as the quilt. And for example, one by one, you would like to merge, so the system will create one surface, one collected surface, only come from OK. Right now, if I will move with my mouse, you can see the system will automatically select everything on as a one quilt. For what is it good? If you would like to project or make some trim, the system will recognize that it is one surface only. So, for example, we would like to project a couple of curves. So, select the project and reference is something in the red color, so the system needs to understand what kind of surface is. So, you can select right mouse button and again the select whole quilt and you would like to project the chain. Yes, so, with the control button again you can select more than one curve and the system asks you about the along direction, so we will continue to, to this horizontal plane or statum plane. Confirm OK. The curve is projected. 
perfect. And again, for example, we would like to project the, this button. So simply select one more time the projection and surface will be only this one. It's good enough. And we will follow the chain and along direction will be datum plane. We can have a look. Everything looks good. The second projection is possible to pattern because the previous sketch has been patterned. So great, looks good. Our new curves are definite. And right now we would like to create a trim. What does it mean? We would like to select surface and use the trim function. And the system asks you please select the trim curve. Okay, I have selected some details. Okay, good. So I'd like to select the additional curve so I can simply to reuse the information from the top and use for this selection. You can see the system asks you what kind of surface you would like to leave. It's uh, possible to see. So if you will confirm OK, it's great. Perfect. And same logic we would like to reuse for the buttons. So we will select the quilt trim and then we can select the existing curves with the right mouse button if I will move here one more time you can see that system allowed to you select whole curve or separate curves yeah so you can move one more time and then it's simply and easy to select necessary boundaries for the trimming if I will come from OK again the stream surface is possible as the pattern feature and as the reference pattern will be created automatically. OK, if you would like to finish your model, you can hide the necessary features and easy and smoother. And you can, for example, use the shading with reflection and have a look what is necessary to hide. So, for example, we would like to hide the projection and this projection again and will be possible to better understand for example for the final rendering yes yeah, so please change the color and for example something like blue one or only simple to select necessary visualization i hope so did you like this video tutorial regarding boundary blend and how to use the merge feature, projection and trim feature with Creo Parametric. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Adieu.